reason I'm up here is for the first time I actually had something work out for me and it freaked me out. Yeah. <laughs> but now what, what happened was I was kind of tired of my job and the situation and everything. And I said, okay, I would really like to have some time off and not have this job anymore. So I lost my job. Yeah. You know, I'm okay with that, but everyone around me is not, you know, <laughs> especially my mother. <laughs> Is it possible for you, especially feel the timing of this conversation in light of everything else we've been talking about. Is it possible that something that looks like it has gone wrong, like squirting water all over the floor really hasn't gone wrong. It was just necessary in order for you to find the path of least resistance. Losing my job. You mean could be seen as being wrong. That's the implication that you were offering that people around you were feeling that way. And you even said, yay like mixed emotions within it. I've lost it, but there are advantages that come from it. And so it'd be helpful if you clean up your vibration around it. But think about it. If your inner being knows where you want to be in relationship to other things, and you have a job and commitment and responsibility already, and there's something in your immediate vicinity for you to discover that you're not free to go to, is that more resistance or is it less resistance if you don't have something that's holding you back from something that's about to show itself to you? In other words, which is the path of most resistance? Or if something had turned up with you have just automatically and instantaneously turned your back on what you were doing. So when you have a job like the job that you just lost, did you feel any measure of responsibility to it? Did you feel some commitment to it? No, <laughs> just being honest. So you weren't really enjoying it. You didn't really want it and you didn't feel responsible to it. If someone had come to you and offered you something a little bit better, what would you have done? I wouldn't have left. You Probably wouldn't. not. Why not? Because I worked for the same person for 11 years and I would have felt bad leaving him. So you did have a sense of responsibility. To him, I guess, not to the job. So this is why we're wanting to have this conversation. Your inner being, who knows you want something different, also knows that you weren't going to leave. But your desire is so strong that you created a way out. That's the path of least resistance. Because you just said, I wouldn't have left, even if something really wonderful had shown itself to me, out of responsibility or commitment, I would have stayed, even though I didn't really want to stay. So your inner being knows that you've got that one path blocked. And that one, 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 and that one. You didn't have the path blocked about getting fired. You never in a million years thought that would happen. You're right. I didn't. Nobody did. So there was no blockage there. And so was this something going wrong? Were you mistreated? Were you taken advantage of? Or were you freed to go in a direction that is more pleasing to you? I was freed. <laughs> when we spell it out like that, it's easy for you to feel the satisfaction of it. It's like the question that came earlier. Everything is like that. Everything, everything that happens is the universe gifting you with something that you want. But the way it feels to you is about your degrees of readiness to receive it. A lot of you, you need a lot of struggle before you let good stuff in. Because you've trained yourself not to believe that you're of value or not to believe that you are worthy. Or you've just practiced complaining for so long that you can't find it the other way. But your inner being never gives up. Your inner being doesn't say to other inner beings, and there are a lot of us who are communicating with each other about what's going on with all of you. Your inner being doesn't say, oh, we could show her a way, but she wouldn't follow it. Your inner being doesn't say, yeah, we've had 2,700 jobs lined up for her. That she continues to be committed to this guy. Your inner being doesn't look at it like that. And therefore we should just give up. There's no point in pointing out another path of least resistance to her. Cause she's not going to take it because she's like so many people on the planet. She's decided to be a martyr. Like so many people. Instead, your inner being just says, how about this? 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 How about getting fired? which got your attention and it's freed you. And so now you are in a better place than you've ever been to allow what's in your vortex. So what do you think's in your vortex relative to something new? Well, I don't know. Cause yes, I, you do. 
Because when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. So what was it about the old job that you didn't like? I didn't like working in the business that I was working in. I didn't like working for people who sort of climb over each other to get better, to, you know, to get higher up. There wasn't a lot of respect. So I didn't like the absence of respect. I want something with more respect. I didn't like the competitive attitude. I want to be in an environment where more inspiration is allowed. What else? I want to be valued. I wasn't valued. I didn't want to be misunderstood. I didn't want to be taken advantage of. I wanted to be understood and I wanted to be of value and I wanted to find things about them that I appreciated and I wanted others to find things about me that they appreciated. So you've created a magnificent new opportunity that you've got to find some way of allowing yourself to align with, but it's kind of a big jump. Can you hear how big that jump is from where she is? Mm -hmm. Big jump. I know. It's all right. That's why I'm up here. It's all right. <laughs> well, it's a big jump in terms of words or attitude, but you can make it a little jump. In other words, it's a big jump to go from disrespect to respect, but it's a little jump from feeling unsatisfied to feeling more satisfied. That's a little jump. It's a little jump to find something that you feel more satisfied about. You are sort of satisfied that you've lost that job. We could hear it. You're playful about it. You were kidding about it a little bit. It's got, it's a double-edged sword. It's got positive and negative aspects in it, but there is satisfaction in that. What is some of the satisfaction in getting fired? Having my own freedom, having my own time. Yes. And they gave me a little money, so I'm yeah. free oh, really? for a couple months. Yeah, they gave you some they, money. They gave me some money. They yes. gave you some money. Was they, that satisfying? That was very satisfying. It was unexpected, too. Oh, they must have respected you a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, I guess. Try to go there. Don't just brush that off. They just didn't throw you out into the street. No, they didn't. They knew your value. They knew you were unhappy. They were freeing you to a potential of more happiness, too. There are some things to be satisfied about in this, if you will look for them. Or, since it's a really hard subject, you could get off of that subject altogether and just feel satisfaction and maybe getting to sleep in for a day or two. Feel satisfaction being able to smell the roses just a little bit as they're beginning to come into bloom. In other words, there's plenty of things that you could feel some satisfaction about, but you know, you're doing what most people do. You're taking this issue, which feels big, and it feels like you should give it your undivided attention. So now I got to dig into this and I got to work my way out of this. Well, can you feel that it's not likely that she's going to work her way out of that anytime soon? Not only does the entertainer in you want to keep talking about it and making fun of it, but the pessimist in you does too. And the not being nice to yourself in you does too. In other words, there's a lot of things that have to change in order for you to work it out out here. Well, you can't work it out out here. There are too many moving parts and too much that you do not have control over. So you're going to work it out from the vibrational standpoint. You're going to work it out from the vortex standpoint. But in order to do that, you've got to find some way of separating yourself vibrationally from the momentum of all of this. So you've just got to let that go. Now, it's not easy to let something go that's tied to money and that's tied to what you've been doing all day, every day. How do you let something go? How do you stop thinking about something? Well, we don't know anybody that can stop thinking about something because when you decide you're going to stop thinking about it, you're thinking about the thing you're going to try to stop thinking about. And so you can't just stop thinking about it because you're thinking about it. But you could think about something else. You could f clean out some drawers. You could focus upon some other things that you've been wanting to do. You could allow yourself a little rest, but you could give yourself permission to be a little satisfied about something. You could be satisfied that you have some money that will carry you for a little ways. You could be satisfied about so many things that are not related to that. Can you find anything? To be satisfied about? Yeah. It? Yeah. Like? I mean, <laughs> well, like you said, the a little bit of money and I have free time and I don't have to see that guy every day. Yes, yes, yes. But feel, <laughs> this isn't real satisfaction. This is revenge, but it is sort of satisfying, isn't it? It, it is, is. It is. It is sort of satisfying. I'm I don't have sick to of that guy. I don't have to see your face anymore. I don't have to put up with you. I don't have to go there anymore. That's a little bit satisfying. Now, don't get stuck there. Don't get stuck there and leave that subject. But what other things can you be satisfied that are easier to feel good about? about your life experience. And let's just say your life experience and this current manifestation in which we're asking you to focus and find something to feel satisfied about, of course, it's going to include some of just having gotten fired. That's part of it, but it doesn't have to be the big part of it. It's a good part of it. It's not a bad part of it. Those were your freedom papers. That was the first step to all of these things that you've been wanting. And so there's a little satisfaction in that, isn't there? But getting off that subject altogether, because we know we're dragging it out of you and you don't really want... Tell us what else you're satisfied about off that subject. 
I can't think of anything when you ask me that. Yeah. I don't have a very satisfying life. Yeah. And maybe that's me, right? Not letting it be satisfying. It's all right. Satisfying. It's all right. It's all right for it to have been pinched off a little bit. You see, we know how satisfied your inner being is with your life. We know how satisfied your inner being is with your still reaching for more. We know how much satisfaction your inner being felt about you deciding that you wanted to be here. And there was enough clarity in that that you're actually in the hot seat. With 700 people in the room, you're in the hot seat. And so that's satisfying to your inner being. There's more clarity going on within you than you're giving yourself credit for. And there's way more opportunity to feel good than you are allowing. So without putting words or ideas in your mouth or in your head, we want you to just acknowledge that there are some satisfying things that you could find if you would just reach for them. In other words, do you like this world in general that you are living in? Yes. You're appreciating the way the water moves around and how there seems to be enough food for most of the people that you are around? Yes. In other words, you're not dealing with any starvation. There's a stability to your world, isn't there? Very much, yes. Yeah, well, isn't that satisfying? Yes. That there is a stability to your world. And isn't the potential of your world getting better, isn't that satisfying? Isn't the idea of feeling better even satisfying? Isn't even the idea of feeling more satisfied satisfying when you really break it down and think about it? Well, that's why I said I was freaked out because this worked, because I was kind of satisfied that I got fired, you know? And I just felt like even though I got fired, everything fell into place. And I felt like that's never happened before. And oh. now I'm like... And now? Uh, uh, now, now. I, I'm and like, now? How do I keep that going? And now you know how. That's satisfying, isn't it? So if that happened, and that's helpful. So now we have a really important question for you. And you're going to know the answer, so don't fret over it. This is not a difficult question. But it's the question that is at the heart of everything that is about you. And so as you find this easy answer, you're going to find a lot of things sort of breaking loose within you. So... From what you just said and from what we can feel from you, we know for sure that you know that this releasing from this job is much more of a good thing than it is a bad thing. You know that for sure, don't you? Yes. But you also know that your mother doesn't agree with that. <laughs> no, she does so not. Here's the question that we want to put to you. This is the piece that is so important. Can you let your knowing of it being right for you just for a little while be more dominant than your awareness that someone else doesn't think so? Can you just follow your own guidance just a little longer and not try to please somebody else who has no way of guiding you? There's so much flawed criteria for everyone else that's looking at you. They want to say, oh, you should just put up and shut up. You should just endure. You should just accept the bad with the good. You should just accept what's coming. But that's not what your inner being is saying. Your inner being is saying, life is supposed to be good for you. You're supposed to feel good in your life. You're supposed to get to choose what you want and line up with it. And the universe is showing you. And you are supposed to be in the receiving mode where you can follow your path to greater and greater and greater joy. You are supposed to have a very satisfying life. Your life is supposed to be satisfying. But you have to reach for it and you have to not listen to the peanut gallery who does not know about you. They don't know about you. They mean well. They mean well. But they don't know about you. There are a lot of people that think having a job is what is most important. Having a job is the only thing that is important. Having a miserable, awful job is so much better than having no job. Well, how can that possibly be true? If feeling good is the path of least resistance to everything you want, how could that be true? There is nothing more false in all of the world that you can suffer yourself into happiness. It just will not happen, you see. So really, there's a lot more going on here than just you on your way to a new job. It's you on your way to a better relationship with your mother. It's you on your way to more self-sufficiency. It's you on your way to listening to your guidance system instead of someone else's not guidance system. It's you being in a place where you can be in the receiving mode of what your source knows and being in the receiving mode of hearing what your mother says. These are big things that are happening to you. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you.